Hello everyone. First of all, I would like to present our gratitude towards our teacher for providing us opportunity to explore more about Java programming language. Uh, this assignment is on soft engineering analysis and design about maze game. Uh, I'm Shraddha Khatiyoda and here today with me, um, my group member will assist me in presentation who is Susan Thapa. So um, moving further, uh, in this presentation, we'll talk about a brief introduction about the game, some games rule, uh, user stories used in games, and how to play the game. Uh, so this uh, game is about the maze game. It, it, it is not GUI-based game, but actually text-based adventurous game, where we'll provide command on text uh, as verb and noun, for example, move south. It is based on Dungeons and Dragons role-playing system. Though it is single-player uh, gameplay, um, we can include non-player as our group member as well. It is totally developed in Java programming language. So uh, this is the map, which is the base for our uh, game. Here we can find seven different locations and two different blacksmith where we can find the weapons. So about the game rules, um, uh, we have the we have different app attribute in the character. For example, we can put names in the character. There are life points uh, for the character. For example, like uh, for a player, there is 20 life points. Uh, a character uh, character can be allowed to uh, wear the items, carry the items. There will be armor class uh, as well. Strength of the character will also be there along with the agility. So um, the player character, there will only be a single player, but non-player character will also be uh, included. It may be hostile as well as our group member also. Uh, so we can also make the conversation between two of the uh, player there. So. Um, uh, the player can control the party as well from other character. Uh, he can move from one location to another location as well. So for further explanation, I would like to um, hand over this slide to Susan. Thank you. Thank you, Shraddha, for the beautiful presentation. Now, moving on to the next slide, um, we have like different locations. Um, in our game, we are using uh, six different, seven different locations here. Um, and each location there will have exits, um, different items that have been dropped around there, uh, a description of the location and uh, some items, uh, like some locations might as well have non-player characters, but it's not that every locations will have some, uh, where the characters will be either hostile or known as the player. Similarly, there are two blacksmiths. Uh, blacksmith is a location where um, the player can actually buy or sell the weapon that he wants. Um, the thing is that whenever the player is buying, uh, he needs to pay the gold, uh, which is um, we, which is referred to the weapon and armory tables while buying. And similarly, when they are selling the um, items they have, uh, they are receiving 10% 20% less gold than what the actual price is. Uh, navigating the maze, uh, the player can navigate around the maze using some of the valid commands. Um, normally, there are two commands here, which is like go and move. Um, if they put in a command like move north, then uh, if there is exit, they will uh, actually move to the other location. Similarly, um, some of the other um, directions are north, south, east, west, northeast, and so on. However, uh, there might be some of the uh, exits which are locked. If the exits are locked, then uh, you will require an item to unlock the door before proceeding. Items. Uh, these can be used to restore life or unlock doors or um, to buy the weapons, seals, and armors. Each item will have its own uh, values, weights, which is um, typically equal of the value of 100 GP equal to LB and um, its own description. Weapons, each character will be able to equip one weapon at a time. 
Um, and um, if uh, the player wants to cost them a turn. Armor, it gives um, the player or non-playing characters characters from the game a different degree of um, protection from the attack. Every armor will have their own um, capacity and the player may wear and carry the uh, shield at the same time. Combat, whenever a player comes in uh, front of the hostile NPC, they can actually have a two options, which is either to flee or attack. If they start attacking, then um, they will take a turn to attack. And if the player chooses to flee from that location, then they do so from the exit, from the random exit that's available in that location. Combat turn, like I said, each character will take a turn to attack if there are like multiple hostile characters in the same place then um, the player starts attacking a single uh, hostile character at a time and if the damage is there and if the uh, victim is left out with the point less than one then the victim will get killed and then um, the player will attack some other random characters that is in that particular location Damage rule, if you hit a score, rule damage will occur and it will be deducted from the customer's um, life point. User stories, there are a few of these uh, user stories that we have uh, put it in our game. Um, I have put in one description here for the move party, which is uh, a command which allows the player, the player to move in a particular direction where uh, if there is a valid exit. Um, similarly, uh, uh, there are a few other commands or uh, user stories that we have put here, such as pick item, drop item, list item in inventory, look at the location, and so on. So how game? Basically, as I told in before, uh, this game is particularly script-based gaming. We don't include any kind of GUI interface here. Where here the user will have to put in some command in a text form, which must be valid. Um, if there is invalid command, then uh, the game will show that the command doesn't exist. Or else, um, if the command exists, then the game will go on. Few of the commands that we used here are like get item. Uh, basically, uh, doesn't work this way in the game actually. For for getting an item, there should be an item dropped in the location, and then um, in the display it will show listing of the num uh, items. So you put in get item number uh, as shown in the console. Uh, similarly, you can drop item, move to the different location as I told before. You can actually use go location. Uh, as well to move around, uh, look items to look at the description of all the items, uh, look look location. This will give you the description of the particular location, uh, how many uh, non-player characters are there, uh, what is the story behind that particular location, and so on. And you can uh, also buy item, sell item, etc. These, these are just few of the uh, commands here in this game. There are whole lots of other commands which is actually included in the report. So this is the end of the uh, slide. Um, thank you for watching the video. Uh, would really appreciate to get some feedback on the video. Thank you so much.